And what's going on guys, uh, Kale here coming at you with a, another video. For those of you that are new to the um, account, I am an in-game player with three accounts, all in the in-game, kind of in various um, stages on, based off of how long I've been playing. And today is going to be just another little orb opening video um, with Spider-Man Noir, as well as, um, you know, just a real quick T4 recommendation, as well as an ISO 8 recommendation as well. Uh, so with that being said, we are going to kind of just jump right on into it. He is still in the orbs. Um, I've kind of gotten to the point now where I am actually, for the most part, just doing kind of either Elite Fours, Elite Fives on the three accounts, and I basically try to only open the actual Red Star orbs when they're doing the two times Dark Promotion credits. Um, if I do have some bad RNG and I don't get him off of the Elite Fours, Elite Fives, I'll open probably about half of these, uh, you know, maybe about 15 or so. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it. We are currently on the baby account right now. So this is Balerian, um, the lowest of the three. Um, I don't think um, Noir, for me, is going to warrant a um, seven-star pull, uh, especially of rumors of a new mutant raid team. I think I'll probably be saving my Elite Seven for that. So Balerian is actually probably in a bad little spot as far as red stars go. But um, let's go ahead and get into into it. We'll open up this uh, one Elite 4. Maybe we'll do a 1 and done. We did get an Elite 5 out of that, so that's actually not too bad. Um, if Balerian doesn't have any luck, we will head on over to Vermithor, and then lastly, we will go on over to the main account, which is going to be Vagar, and we will open up some Red Stars, as well as the actual Spider-Man Noir Orbs. Um, so the two accounts, Balerian and Vermithor, are free to play for me. Um, I don't spend on these two accounts, but um, I do spend a little bit on Vagar, nothing too crazy, but... Anyway, so basically we will get to an Elite Four, and we will pop that open and see what happens. We did get a one star, so not bad. It's at least something. Um, I will say with at least Brawn, um, Abomination, and um, I think it was Deathlock, um, they actually all went to the Elite Store fairly quick. Um, so I am hopeful for that. We did get a two, so we are moving on up in the world. And a shield operative that is not so good, but we did almost get enough for an elite five or an elite four rather. That should put us over the edge, and we do still have uh, nine orbs we can open if need be. So let's see. Hopefully we get lucky. And spider punk. So that is a dupe. Also, uh, let's see if we can get to one more elite. Four because then I think that would lead us into an Elite 5. So I go a little faster with the greens. Um, not so excited with those. We did get a 4-star from that. That's actually not too bad. Um, obviously is a dupe. So we're getting some... All right, you know what? That is going to work for Little Balerian. Um, four stars, I would say, is probably kind of what you're getting these days um, if you're going fairly hard on events. Um, four stars is probably the most generous you're going to get. So we are going to hop on over to Vermithor over here. So this is actually the second account. It was my first alt account. Um, so this account is actually um, coming up to, I think, a little bit in the three-year mark. Um Anyway, um, so I think I am in a better situation orb-wise for Vermith uh, Vermithor. Uh, let's see what we got here. So we've got three Elite Fours, an Elite Five, an Elite Six, and almost our way to an Elite Seven. Again, I don't think that Noir probably justifies a, you know anything really higher than a five star pull and even that is kind of just like optimistic so uh, let's go on in we will keep this orb opening going we will open an elite four all right so <laughs> not bad luck on that one um that was pretty lucky so let's go ahead and just for you know the video i guess we'll open an elite five see what happens here and I apparently should have stopped with the Elite Four. Um, anyway, let's hop on over to the last account, which is going to be Vagar. Um, this is my main account. Um, 
I think I'm at the four year mark or however basically long MSF has been around. Um, almost a launch player on Vagar. I think I missed it by like a week or two. But um, so looking at our red stars, we've got 31 um, normal orbs. We've got five elite fours and elite five. And we're kind of about halfway to a seven and not really anywhere near a six. So let's see if we keep the luck going. And let's see if we can do a one and done again. Okay, that is a dupe, obviously. And if I do get um, an Elite 5 out of these, well, there we go, an Elite 4. <laughs> Not too bad. Um, so disregard. What I was going to say is I don't really buy into Seed Theory, but I do kind of go on, I guess, kind of what I call Luck Theory. And basically, if I pull an Elite 4 and I get a 5 drop, I'll normally go one orb up um, if I haven't gotten the character. We will again, um, just for the video, uh, open up an Elite 5 and see what happens. Okay, another dupe. Um, not bad, at least it gets me a little material towards an Elite 6. Uh, let's go into our inbox, and we will get our Noir shards, as well as his orbs. And let's go ahead and see how his orb goes. Now, he is a 100 shard unlock, um, so that's going to be a 3 star. And then you would obviously need another 80 shards to get him to 4 star. So... Let's see, where is his orb? Did I pass it already? Uh, I guess I did. All right, there we go, the monochromatic orb. All right, so we've got eight of these. Um, you know, obviously you always get the unlock um, when you do do the when you do do <laughs> when you buy the um, bigger pack. You obviously always get the unlock. Um, it's interesting, I think they've used this orb before, um, this actually is reminiscent to, I think Symbiote Spider-Man actually had an orb very similar to this. Um, it's kind of surprising to have kind of a Symbiote-esque looking orb. But anyway, let's get into it, hopefully we get a good drop. Um, I've never gotten the big kahuna, um, the 180 in the middle, um... I think I've gotten an 80 once or twice before, but, um, you know... And we are having god-awful drops. That is three sixes in a row. And that makes four. All right, we got a blue. It's a 10, not terrible, not great. Uh, another green, just a little bit above average. A blue, okay, so it's a 12, not terrible. And another green, super. Um, so I managed to get 117 shards, uh, so 55 from the actual orb, and obviously, you know, what's left here. So I managed to get, uh, what is that, 62 orbs? 62 fragments, so at least I can still do math. Good for me. Um, let's go, and we will get the unlock over here, and we will talk kind of about his kit. Um... His T4s, ISO-8 recommendations, um, I think, honestly, there's kind of a, two things he can kind of go about things, and, you know, one is obviously his Cosmic Crucible ISO-8, I don't think is necessarily going to match his, the rest of the game ISO-8 suggestions, depending on where you're planning on using him, um, and also depending on how his focus actually works in Cosmic Crucible. Um, obviously, I just unlocked him now, so I haven't tested that out yet, but I would say the kind of the two classes that I'm torn for him is Raider and Skirmisher, and Raider would honestly be my first choice, um, especially if he is able to land his debuffs. And it looks like I certainly definitely need to start farming his ISO 8, so we will have him favorited. But, um, you know, so looking at a lot of his kit, um, you know, so he is going to gain 5% damage here. Um, allies are getting 15%, and um, He's also going to apply that to non-Spider-Verse, or non-Tangled non Web, rather. Um, if um, Spider-Reaver's an ally, um, he's also going to fill his speed bar by 5%. And he's also, so in total, that looks like, what, 10% speed bar, and a 5, 10, uh, 25, 35... 
math. Um, so 15%, 15%. So he's going to gain 30% extra damage. Um, so he's going to hit pretty hard. And I think from what I remember looking at his stats on msf.gg, I want to say he's like ninth highest in damage. So with that being said, having the raider class on him is going to make his crits hit all the harder. Um, so that's definitely kind of why I'm leaning towards that. And if you look here, he is going to be attacking adjacent allies, or enemies rather. Um, there's going to be some bleeds, and the big thing, the only reason that I'm actually kind of possibly considering Skirmisher is whether or not he's going to be able to uh, um, land these dis the Disrupted and the Heal Blocks. Um, if he's able to land those Raider through and through, um, if he's not, that's where Skirmisher might maybe be better at lower levels. So, looking at his thing, let's see what we've got here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Gain evades, and Crucible always gain evade. Um, okay, so let's take a look at him real quick. Um, looking at his passive, that seems to be a no-brainer. Um, filling the speed bar by 10% whenever an enemy gets a positive effect um, is going to be really good. So that is a no-brainer for me. Looking at his ultimate over here, again, three bleeds, the heal blocks. Definitely going to want to probably go for that as well, plus a little extra damage. Uh, oops, skipped on over his special. Um, his special over here, looking at it, again, um, this is a three-turn cooldown, so you're going to be doing this pretty frequently, and the fact that it's going to spill his, uh, spill, is going to fill his speed bar by 30%, that's another really good, so on top of the 10% speed anytime an enemy gets a positive buff, every, you know, basically two turns, he is going to be doing this move as well, so, you know, that's definitely, I would say, T4 worthy, and then we've got his basic over here, so... Um, Crucible will always gain evade. That's probably going to be good for survivability. Um, and he does have a fairly long cooldown for his ultimate, so I would say the basic is maybe more in the nice to have, but still probably pretty high up there as far as recommendations. So he does look like he's going to be a little bit of a T4 heavy character. Um, which, if you're building the whole team, from what I remember... Really, the only essentials um, on Spider-Man 2099, I think, was really just his passive. Um, yeah, so that's an essential. And ultimate's pretty nice to have. Specials, just, you know, it's a luxury. And I would say his basic is also a luxury. So, at least 2099 is not too... T4 intensive. Um, with Noir, I would definitely say the passive and the special would be my first two options. And then if you do have some T4s to spare, this ultimate is going to be pretty good. And if you really are looking to kind of, I guess, max this team and go really hard, I would say the basic would also be a nice luxury uh, T4 as well. So kind of it is going to involve some further testing. You know, I would say Raider definitely for Cosmic Crucible. However, you know, if you plan on taking him into other game modes, um, I don't know how well he would do in, say, like, Arena, um, or I'm sure they'll do pretty well in War, but in War, they might not do as well focus-wise, so there is possibly the case to do Skirmisher. But um, that is going to be our quick little orb opening for today. Um, hopefully you did enjoy the video. If you did, please feel free to like and subscribe. Um, as always, look forward to hearing what y'all got on your Spider-Man Noir pulls in the Red Stars. And if you have any ideas for any videos, feel free to let me know down in the comments. Again, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having a good week and take it easy.